hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching us how you can fix the issues of gaping around your armhole especially if you're sewing a blouse that has princess that okay so look at this blouse you can see the gaping around the armhole compared to this um p other picture here you can see that the armhole sits perfectly around the um body without any form of gaping so i'll be teaching us how to eliminate that right so let's get started now you need to know how to draft a basic bodice all right so i'll be dropping to the link to our website you can go there and download the basic body tutorial for free you can even get the link sent to your email box so this is my basic bodice pattern here okay so the only difference is that um for this pattern I didn't link the um, that to the shoulder. That's just the difference, right? So usually you find the midpoint and link it to the um, boss point there, the midpoint of the shoulder. But we're not doing that because we want to draft a bodice with a princess that. So what I'll do right now is I'm going to, you know, um, draw my princess style line. Before I do that, I'll come up by one one quarter inch from my bust point if your bust circumference is 36 inches and below you can come up by one inch if your bust is like um 40 and above you can do one and a half if your bust is almost 50 you can do two inches so it depends on your bust circumference but my own bust is 38 so i came up by one one quarter so i'll link that point to the midpoint of my armhole with my curved ruler you see the way I placed it? So I'll just, you know, do this. So this is your regular princess that. Okay. So you can do this for jackets, for suits. But if you're sewing um, a native or a fitted blouse, if you sew it this way, okay, you're going to have what is called a gaping, like a space there. So what you do, we're going to do what's called tightening. Now I'm going to mark three quarter of an inch on both sides of my princess star line if your boss circumference is um 36 and below you can do half half if your boss circumference is 40 and above you can do up to one inch on both sides you just to tighten up that part there okay now i would use my um curve to link this point back to my boss point okay so now this is my curve here. I'm linking it back to the point I marked above my boss point. So let me just know if um, you understand the tutorial so far so good. Like I said, if you're a beginner, you need to watch the basic bodies tutorial, please. Okay, so I'm just linking um, the second part back to the point above the boss point. So this is my dot. Now, because this is a curved line, okay, by the time we cut this out and you want to join the center front and the side panels together, you will notice that it will not align. It won't align, okay? So, we need to reshape the armhole, okay? Then, let's quickly go to the back. For the back, I'll just link um, my dart leg to the midpoint of my armhole there. And then second, the second part of that leg too, I'll link it. Now this is for those who want um, the back of their blouse to have a princess style line. It is optional, okay? So I'll just shade this like so. You see that? So I'll just blend up um, the sharp edge there, okay? So this part is actually optional. This is very optional. Now, coming back to the front pattern, what I'll do is I would separate the front and back um, pieces so that uh, we can do the niche full. Okay, so like I said, just click on the link in the description box or search for our website www.wellala.com. The basic body tutorial is there for free download okay now like i said i will be separating my front and back piece okay 
Now, next thing is I'm going to trim up all the excesses I have on the waistline. I haven't added any seam allowance yet except my side seam. So I'm just trimming off all the excesses there. I'm going to trim off the excess I have on my neckline and all. So um, for me, I always prefer to add my seam allowance on the fabric. So I'm just trimming out. So at this point, I will trim off my waist that, okay, and the boss that, before we go ahead to reshape the armhole, which is the main um, thing on this tutorial. The reshaping of the armhole will make, you know, eliminate the gape. Okay, now we have eliminated the gaping by creating the dart, but we need to reshape the armhole so that when you sew the front and back, piece, um, the center front, and the side piece together they will align you won't have a shortage on the side okay i'm sure some of us have experienced that problem before if you've experienced that before when you cut out the princess that you sew it and you have a little shortage and you have to start adjusting the, um, the fabric or trimming out or pulling the fabric let me know in the comment section okay let me know but with this method you don't need to add any you know extra fabric just work with this pattern so I'm just blending up and now I can cut out the excess I have on my side there I'll just trim this off okay so before I cut out the excess on the armhole there we are going to blend up so that we can reshape in the armhole now at this point I'm going to fold my darts okay I will fold it that so just watch I'm folding from um, the top part towards the armhole so by the time you fold okay this folding represents your fabric as in when you when you sew the, um, the fabric together so like I said if you've ever experienced this before that when you join um, the center front and the side piece together this is what will happen let me just finish folding and I'll just show us. I'm trying to be as slow as possible because of those that always complain that the tutorial is too fast. Okay? So I'm taking my time in this particular video. Now, can you see that the armhole, after folding, it has shifted? This is what happens when you sew. So, in order to eliminate this problem here, you just take your French curve place it uh, you know, from the beginning of the initial ammo curve there and then you create a new curve like so. So you can use your French curve to do this, you can use your normal ammo, but please don't use your hands, please I beg you. This is 21st century. Get your right sewing tools. Okay, so all I'll just do is I'll just extend um, this is my side panel to that point. You see that? Okay. It's as simple as that, as simple as that. By the time you sew now, you don't need to pull the fabric, you don't need to do any trimming or start cutting corners, you know. I've also experienced this before, you know, in the time of ignorance. But with this, you're good to go. You don't need to add any fabric. So I will just trim off, just watch the way I'm trimming. Okay, so if this video um, is as detailed, as i'm thinking it is let me know in the comment section okay i'm trying to be as slow as possible yeah so i'm just trimming up. we're not sewing i will drop the links to all the tutorials i've done on how to sew a, a style that has princess that the main thing we're learning in this video is how to eliminate that gaping okay so if i place my pattern like this you can see waistline to waistline under bust to under bust bust point to bust point you know chest line to, you can see perfect so there is no shortage as mean we didn't reshape the armhole let me just fold that part inward a bit i want us to see something so as mean we didn't reshape it can you see you're going to have a shortage there you get that so that's the reason for the um 
reshaping so this is for my front okay so you just add your seam allowance round the pattern and the center front is on fold okay now let's quickly go to the back pattern that one is like very easy no too much drama okay so for the back pattern i'll just cut out that you know and that's all but when you're cutting on fabric you're going to add half inch seam allowance so like i said i'll be dropping the links to all the tutorials i've made on how to cut and sew a style that has princess that so if you can watch um the sewing tutorial but for this particular video we're learning how to eliminate the gaping and take care of all the bust tightening and all so um i'm just still trimming off my excesses the neckline you can do what you like there's no fixed um, measurement okay i'm just still trimming off my excesses so one more last thing to do uh at the back is i'll just trim off the darts and then like i said you'll be adding half inch seam allowance to the pattern when you transfer it to your fabric i'll just trim off this part here and i'll also trim off the other side so automatically um taking out the dots so that you have a well fitted blouse okay so this is it here you can see perfectly cut out so this is just um this is it basically so i hope no one is confused let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know if this, is a, it is, this has helped you. Let me know if you have been battling with this before now and if this was helpful. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. So I'm going to... So I'm going to show us how it looks like. This is my dress. And um, you can see the front. And you also be seeing the side. Can you, can see, can you see the sides there that... There is no gaping around the armhole it sits perfectly around my um busts yeah so i do hope you enjoyed this tutorial please if this is your first time of watching um a video on my channel kindly subscribe like share thank you so so much bye